Have you ever sat and stared up at the stars and wondered, where did we come from? Let's take a journey like no other, not to a place, but to a time. Join us as we delve deep into the human past and explore our shared human origins. Welcome to the world of paleoanthropology. Hello, friends and family of World of Paleoanthropology. I know it's been a while since we've done an episode of Skulls with Seth, but today I'm happy to be bringing along a new episode where today we're going to be focusing on Homo Naledi. I know, it's everybody's favorite, especially mine, and I'm very excited to be talking about Homo Naledi today, but not just Homo Naledi. It's a very special specimen of Homo Naledi. Letty, the child from the darkness of rising star, as my article puts it during her announcement. In 2021, researchers announced the discovery of a partial skull of a Homo Naledi youth, aged around four to six years old when they died. Uh, this was the first partial skull of a child that they found, and what you will see is quite astonishing as to the features that are still there. So here we have the skull. This is Letty. This is to scale, so quite small. Of course, it's an individual, I mean, a uh, youth, as I said, an adolescent, about four to six years old. And you can see some astonishing features in this partial cranium, including deciduous teeth. But not only the deciduous teeth, if that'll focus, maybe not. You can also see adult teeth that have yet to drop down. And this is astonishing, seeing these adult teeth in their place before they've come down, and that they're preserved and that they fossilize. It's truly stunning and astonishing. This little cranium gives us so much information, so much details about Homo naledi as a child, what they would have looked like, how they could have lived, what their brains looked like, because, of course, we got the beginning of an endocast here. We even see fragments of the skull and its sutures. And there we go. Let that focus. And parts of the cranium before they completely fused and as they were broken when the child died. I, the feature is preserved in this tiny little amount of space. This tiny cranium is truly astonishing. Now... Even more astonishing than the actual fossil is possibly the way it was found. So, as we all know, Homo naledi is found deep inside Rising Star Cave. A cave system which is hard to navigate, hard to get through. It's just not easy. So, no one would go there without intent. And we believe the intent of Homo naledi was to ritually inter or even possibly bury their dead. And we have found multiple signs of ritual... Um, disposal. We have found signs of culture, such as the use of fire. There are many more announcements that Dr. Berger, the lead on the team, is going to be announcing in his new book with Dr. John Hawks. That's coming out in, I believe, August. Um, don't quote me on that. However, if you can pre-order it, I believe you should, because there's going to be some amazing information in there not found anywhere else. But I will be reporting on it as soon as I get my hands on that book, because as I said, Homo Naledi is my favorite hominin, and everything involved with Homo Naledi has got my attention. So, Letty was found in Rising Star. But not only was Letty found in Rising Star, Letty was not found in the Dinaledi chamber where the other hominin remains were found. They were not found in the Lissetti chamber where we had an almost complete skeleton, not just cranium, skeleton of an individual adult male named Neo. Here's his skull also to show the size and comparison of an adult Homo naledi skull to a child. But this is Neo. This is Letty. Neo was found in a different chamber. I'll just quickly show him off, although he is going to have his own episode, and we will talk about him, so I'm not going to spend too much time showing this skull off. But this is a Homo naledi adult skull, just to show for reference. Um, 
Yeah, there you go. So Letty was found in the Chaos Chamber, a chamber that was believed to be even harder to navigate, even harder to get into than the previous chambers. And not only that, but Letty was found placed upon a shelf in the cave. Not laying on the ground, not strewn somewhere, not thrown somewhere, but placed delicately and gently on a shelf so that it would stay and be found or honored and revered by others that would come down the line. We don't know why Home and Lady did this. We may never know why. We can have theories and ideas. Some are good, some are bad, some are just completely out of this world. But the fact, the fact is, Homo Naledi placed this child's skull, possibly the whole body, because what's happened is we have the skull here, and here's the ledge, and streaming over the side are fossils and pieces of possibly Homo um, of Letty's body. So it's possible the whole body was placed here and that the rest is decomposed and fallen off the side of the ledge. But the cranium remains. The body, the cranium was placed on this ledge so deep inside of a cavern and hard to reach that it possibly was thought to never, by the creatures who put it there, be reached again. And hopefully while you're viewing this, I've included images of um, the cave and specifically where Letty was found. Um, it's just remarkable. It truly is. So besides everything that we can learn and that we have found out from the skull itself, the story and the location, the locality of where Letty was found truly adds to the ever-growing evidence that human evolution was not a simple linear process as we understand it. It was not a simple process where our brains just grew and grew and grew and we got smarter and smarter and smarter. Something was happening with these small brained hominins where they were able to conceptualize a ritual and what that meant, possibly even an afterlife, we'll never know. But new evidence is gathering and showing that Homo Naledi was something different than what just belonged in the, quote, family tree, or even in the braided stream of human evolution, which is the more proper model to reference our family. Now, one of the most striking features of Lady Skull is its shape. It has a flat forehead with large eye sockets and a prominent brow ridge. We actually see this extraordinary similarity in the Tong child. If you put these two side by side, and again, hopefully I'm showing an image of this, you can actually see they're extraordinarily similar despite being millions of years apart in evolution. The Tong child being about 2 million years old and Homo Naledi, of course, being 230 to 300,000 years old. So this tells us that hominin children could have been very similar until they got to a certain age where they diversified and became more closely related to the adults that we see later on. Because Homo naledi, as an adult, does not look like Hom uh, Australopithecus afarensis or Africanus, rather, as an adult. It's only when they are this size, when they are adolescents, that they look similar. So... What else can we learn? Well, the future of research about Homo naledi is proving to be the case that every new find completely upends what we know about this species and adds to a catalog of questions and misunderstandings about who Homo naledi was and who it will be in the future. What is clear is that its place in the realm of amazing discoveries is even more affirmed as the discovery of Homo naledi continues to give and give to the world of paleoanthropology. What will we learn next about Homo naledi might very well depend on what we learn about Leti. Now, there are still ongoing excavations. They are going to be returning to the site where Lower Letty specifically was found, and they will be 
hopefully recovering more remains from Latsy. Maybe some of that, what was dripping over the side of the ledge, like I mentioned, we might be able to recover some of that and more of the skeleton of Latsy, which would tell us more about the post-cranial remains of a homeowner, Letty adolescent. But we don't know. We don't know. The only answer is to find more fossils, and as Lee Berger's favorite saying goes, to never stop exploring. And with that, I will leave you all to it. I hope you have a great week. I know it's Monday, so power to you. Enjoy. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. There's more coming, and stay tuned. Never stop exploring, and remember, there's always more to learn. Peace.